Hey, good Thursday afternoon, guys. I think it's noon. Not quite. It's still morning. 10 o'clock in the morning. We're over here in Bergen, New York. Uh, just got loaded. This load sucks. Um, not the load per se, but definitely the pay for the day. So we got a load of mulch here. Um, it doesn't pay much. It's uh, 400, $400. And I needed to make something. So I went ahead and took it. Give you guys a quick show what we did here. So we have uh, a two inch strap and a four inch strap on the first stack here. Had a, needed two straps, uh, again, because we have nothing in front. Um, one strap on each section in the middle. Again, like I showed you guys before, how I did the two inch strap here. Uh, I'll link the video up above in case you haven't seen that one yet. And then um, this here, like I said before, I just grabbed a hold of the rub rail uh for being over top of the tire there's no interrupted for a phone call uh the only other way to do it is an x over top of the tire and i only needed that one strap so i was good with that right there uh put one here and then a, another two inch strap here um and all i did on the other side was the same thing hooked on the road rail right here so we're all good we got the axle spread and um uh, gonna go jump on the scale and see if we're good so that's it in a nutshell. We're heading down to Vestal, New York, which is down by Binghamton. It's only a couple hundred miles. It's over $2 a mile. I'm not taking a bad rate. It's just a short distance. And um, it's, that's, a, that's all it comes down to. So I got one of two choices. Got one of two choices. Either hope to try to pick up a load directly after this one or go to uh, just do a flip and come right back up here not worry about any of the deadheading uh just just going off of the loaded miles get a couple of these bound knocked out um which i just don't see profitable so i'm kind of hoping that i could even if i have to uh bounce to buffalo or ohio or pittsburgh somewhere to grab a decent load to get me through the weekend so that i can make a decent amount of money uh, everything that's been flying has been really cheap crap and I, I just I don't want to pull cheap crap that's that's the bottom line uh, you got a specialty trailer you got somebody requiring a step deck if it's if it's if I'm loading um, a load that can take a flatbed load and uh, if I'm taking a flatbed load on a step deck then I expect a flatbed rate I don't expect specialty rate but when I'm taking a load that is requiring a step deck, I expect better rates. And uh, just for example, we have. Hey, you reckon I go that left side or there two lanes, I guess? Just for example, we have two. Uh, or just for example, we have a load coming out of Pennsylvania uh, of pipe requiring a step deck going to Ohio and they're trying to pay $1.56 a mile. I'm not taking it. I don't care how the times are, it's it's too cheap. And um, especially for step deck, you sh it should be at least $2 a mile. And I don't care what the load pays before my percentage. I care what it pays to my truck. And if it's not paying at least $2 a mile to my truck, it's no good. So. That's it. Let's uh, go jump on the scale real quick. Looks like we got a couple people sitting out here by the gate. Uh, we did manage to knock out a 30 minute break while I did that couple minutes of recording there. And um, so we got plenty of hours. Uh, and I'll get back to you in a second. That's 11,880, 30,100, and 36,020. 78,020. 
All right, we're all done. We got our paperwork. Uh, 187 miles to go. ETA's 1330. Hopefully, we can beat that a little bit, but probably not because we got to stop and get a little bit of fuel, and then um, and uh, and then get the rest of the way down there. Hopefully, we can find something else. There was a couple loads that popped up, paying decent rate, uh, going to Vermont, Massachusetts. Uh, paying two, three dollars a mile, um, but I'm not trying to go up there and get stuck and then go back home again. So it's right now I'm just trying to go make some money. So we'll see what happens. So we'll see when we get to Lowe's. All right, we just got 60 gallons of fuel, and then I spent 40 minutes outside. I'm all shaky from squatting down for so much. I don't know why, but. Probably because I'm fat and out of shape. Um, I just spent 40 minutes doing the tires. The uh, I don't know. The trailer just wasn't feeling right with the, with this weight on here. So I wanted to check the tires. I had one tire on my drives that was a little low. It was down to 80 pounds, and that was with. With the tires being heated up which adds more pressure which is going to take a little bit from what i'm about to say uh, which is my trailer tires show call for a max of 120 psi cold so i know that they're nice and warm for me running down the road but with that said they were at 140 pounds of pressure on the trailer tires. My drive, my steers weren't too bad. They were right around 120. My drives were right around 110, which was about normal. But I made adjustments. I put, um, well, I put the, the drives down to 110. So by the time I did it, they cooled off a little bit. Not as much as if they were cold starting out, but then again, you know, it's warmer weather now, so they're going to have a difference. But I dropped them down to 110. I dropped everything else all the way back down to 100 pounds. Um, the one that was at 80 pounds, that was the last thing I did. I got it up to 96, and I said, that's it. I'm, I'm not pushing it back on there. So tomorrow morning, um, I'm going to try to get to all the tires again, or at least get the tractor done and then work on the trailer maybe the next morning, or if I got the time, I'll do it all tomorrow morning, but uh, try to get cold temperatures done now that the weather's warmer, um, but I sure as heck don't want to be running around with 140 pounds of pressure and them smaller they're, they're 22.5 tires, but they're smaller tires. Um, but I, I definitely don't want 140 pounds sitting in them tires. So we dropped them down. They're at 100 now. As it heats back up going down the road, they'll probably go up a little higher, which I'm fine with. That's what they're supposed to do. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is start looking into getting that, that tire inflation system. And if I can get that added on, uh, for a reasonable price, I think I'm going to end up doing it. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys some road footage here. And uh, we'll get back to you when we get to Lowe's. Lowe's. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk when I'm alright Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love Tell me if I'm wrong Cause it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Come on, come on, come on, come on Come on, come on uh.
I think about you at night. I want you here with me. Am I out of my mind, or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love, so just tell me if I'm wrong. But it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Yeah. Don't know what you do, but you make me feel fine. And you can't deny we are not just killing time. You should let me know if you want this true. Baby, you just make me feel crazy. A little crazy for you. catch it until I didn't catch it until afterwards but he uh, he completely unloaded one side didn't do any damage but it's it's not the best of ideas so is what it is um, but we're done I'm not debating on what we're gonna do next and I'll let you guys know here in a little bit if we decide anything. <laughs>